If you work in front of the computer for long hours, you may be suffering from the same thing as me. Sore neck or neck pain. Sometimes even too unbearable to sleep at night. And you may be worried. Worried that you may have to live with this forever. Hi, I'm SQ. And today, I'm going to show you 7 neck stretches you can do right away to soothe your tight, aching neck. The levator scapula is a muscle that often tightens and may be very tender when it attaches to the shoulder blade. You can loosen up this muscle by performing this stretch while sitting or standing. Take your forearm, put it on a wall. Just look away from the wall and to the ground, so like this. The other hand, put it on top of your head and pull towards the floor. Okay, so hold for about 30 seconds and then switch over to the other side. So just put your right hand over here and the same thing, the other hand and pull. The prone cobra is slightly more advanced and also less convenient since you need to plonk yourself down in the office. This exercise helps to strengthen your shoulder, girdle, as well as the neck and upper back muscles. I consider this a more advanced exercise, but you will do wonders for your neck and also your back. Just grab a towel, place it on the floor. I'm going to lie belly down and then place my forehead on the towel. So keep your legs on the floor, okay? And I'm going to, next I'm going to place my uh, hands and elbows like this, okay, on the floor. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to turn my elbow inwards, pointing my fingers out and raising them up. I raise my forehead up away from the towel and try to look in front. Kind of like doing the Superman exercise, okay. So the tip when you are raising your elbows up like this, try to squeeze your shoulder blades together as well, okay. So this is a prone cobra. If you are a heavy smartphone user, which most people are nowadays, the passive neck release will help you to fix your text neck. This is also one of the most comfortable stretches ever devised. So this is called the passive neck release. If you find yourself uh, using your phones too much, your neck is always in this curved posture because of the smartphones or your computer. Okay. So what you're going to do is that you bring a towel to work if you have, roll it up, okay, place it on the floor, lie on the towel, but make sure the towel is at your neck here so that gravity can pull your head downwards and then let your neck rest because you're curved forward. So this allows your neck to curve backwards to reverse the kind of motion. Okay, I just shift it over here and I'm just going to relax. Chin tucks helps to stretch the muscles that form your neck, shoulder area and you can also give your upper spine a good stretch. So this is probably the simplest exercise you can do here. You can do this sitting on a chair or on the floor. So all you got to do is try to tuck your chin back into your neck. Okay. So how you can do this is to visualize that you are staring at something, you're fixated at something far ahead and then you're trying to create that distance from your neck, from your chin away from the point that you're fixated at okay, so let's try this so look at the, looking at the point over there and bring your chin back and forward and back and forward, that's the chin tuck the scalenes are a set of deep neck muscles found on the side of your neck and they support your ability to breathe. The scalenes often grow tight from lifestyle and faulty breathing patterns. Okay, so this is called the scalenes stretch because it stretches your scalenes over here. Sit uh, in a chair or on the floor like what I'm doing now using my left hand. I'm gonna put it on the floor. If you are sitting on a chair, uh, you can just hold on to the side of the chair. I'm going to look upwards 45 degrees. Okay, so like this. Okay, upwards 45 degrees. To add to the stretch, I can either push my jaw. Okay, this is the jaw and the forehead. Okay, and then come back and do the other side. So change hands. Same thing, neck up 45 degrees upwards. And either jaw or forehead. Okay, you should feel the stretch here. Okay, so that's it for the scaling stretch. 
This exercise is taken from yoga and can help you soothe and relax your tight muscles in your neck. Okay, so this next stretch is uh, something I learned from the yogis, uh, but I'm not actually sure of the name. I'm just gonna call it the yoga neck stretch. Clasp your hands together, but not in front this time around, but at the back. Okay, and then we're gonna bring our hands by folding our elbows in and bring it to our left side over here. So you can see, I folded my elbows or bent my elbows. We're gonna drop our left ear to our left shoulder like this. And then we're gonna stretch. And then we're gonna bring it back up. Then we are going to look to the left. So bring the chin to the left, okay? So like this. And then bring our neck back to the center. Come back. And then we relax. The seated clasping neck stretch is a quick and easy way to offer a deep stretch for the back of your neck and your upper back. All you need to know is that it's just a simple neck stretch that you can do uh, while sitting down in your chair or on the floor like this. Sit down like this, straight, clasp your hands together, okay, and then put it at the back of your head. You know, there's this portion over here. Look downward to the floor, okay, and then just press it. Press your head down to the floor, okay? Here you go and recover okay just hold this stretch for about 30 seconds okay and that's it that's it for the seven neck stretches remember to do them regularly and consistently so that you can achieve the maximum benefits if you know someone who's like you who has sore neck or neck pain please share this video with them anyway we have prepared a bonus video where you can get five more neck stretches that you can do in the comfort of your own home or in the office all you have to do is to hit to this link right below or go to the link in the description. I'll see you next time.